All right, we got Mushoku Tensei Season 2, Episode 10. Don't forget to check out that Patreon down below if you guys want the full, uncut, unedited version, as well as early access and exclusive reactions to the other shows I'm watching. Let's not waste any more time. Hop right into today's episode. All right, here we go. Alina, Elise, and Cliff. Me either, Oreo. Me either. This is not where I was expecting this relationship to go. They are getting older, so I get it, you know. I do wonder how um, Nanahoshi and Rudy's experiments are going. And now we're at the library, and normally Rudy would be with Sophie talking, asking advice, you know, but now she's alone. Things are changing. Things are changing. I've been at the Magic University of Magic for about a year. I'm 16 now. 16 year old Rudy is crazy. Are they purposefully avoiding Quagmire Rudy? I'm curious. Oh, I mean, I guess word would have spread that he ripped off Bodyguardi's upper half. I guess that would make sense. Back in class. Curses. I was about to say, why are we talking about JJK? But no, so we can erase Elena Lisa's fuckable curse. Like, that's true. Spears. Very true. Love how he's actually giving learning about curses his all because he loves Alina Lee's. Shout out to Cliff Grimoire. Come on, guys. Focus up. Talk about a nice dining hall to eat. Technically, he did take down Fitz, he did take down Bodyguardi. <laughs> Good, good. As Bodyguardi shows up. Three mugs, three pitchers. You finish one, pour. <laughs> you don't need any, Julie. Trust. She is a dwarf. <laughs> you saying no to Zanoba? <laughs> Are you serious? I mean, I guess it's a good thing she's a dwarf, but... Where does the mana retainer? She's invented a few original spells? That is very impressive. Especially on a, such an already established magical foundation for a world, you know? Oh, yeah. Give Julie like 10 solid years, she's gonna be a, a sculptor sculptor. She'll be on some Michelangelo, Leonardo, Raphael shit. Please go and see Sophie again. Yeah. And God did say we would, you know. Go see him. One day I received a letter. Who's was the letter for letters and... Oh, sold that! What up, legend? Hell yeah. Hey, hey, hey. I'm hoping it goes well. Like, I, re I really enjoyed how we ended things off with Soldat. Speak of the devil. I will believe you. I don't know, though. All good, buddy. Thanks for coming to see us. It's always nice seeing old friends. We don't have the most positive relationships in this world, so any that we get to see, I'm always like, hell yeah. Yeah. 
Good. I was about to say thanks, but I'm not too interested in that. Okay, you guys go adventure, fuck, do whatever you guys do, but... Is this the last we see of Cliff and Alina Lee's for a while? Oh, they're going with Soldat's party. Makes sense. It's crazy to think the things Rudy's done as a 16-year-old. Killing a red dragon by himself. Killing the demon lord king bodyguardy. See fits with Luke. Fits, mm, something's going on. They're out shopping. Uh, they're out shopping for Sophie, not Fitz. I don't know, or something. Imagine. Some trendy wrestling with their little men. <laughs> what? I'd be like, hey, fair enough. You guys have a lovely day. I'll see you guys back at school. Understandable. This was like your homeboy. We're all alone in school. They would be horrible listeners. We can't talk to Fitz. We're about to vent about Fitz. We are not close with Ariel. Yeah, she does not seem like the type to give two fucks about your issues. Alina Lise is off with Cliff. Who do we vent to? I was about to say, how are you going to act like nothing just happened back in the alley when you were just giving me the cold shoulder? In that, to a certain extent, does make sense. Way to be mature about it. の方こそ相手できなくてごめんね。先輩に嫌われたかと思って、ヒヤヒヤしましたよ。僕が君を嫌われるわけないじゃないか。This man is smitten. This is not what I was expecting at all for this season. I was expecting pure death, pure craziness. Not Rudy thinking he's in love with a man. And that's what's causing his erectile... Like, what? I can't wait for this information to just all be revealed and for Rudy to finally know that it's Sophie. Right. Oh, that is not something you want to say out loud right there. Is Mushoku Tensei secretly like a rom-com slice of life show? Like, what's what the hell? You know what I'm saying? ヒッツ先輩は女だった。重要なことだ。しかし、そんなことより。と。人が見せば。そう、おおロードマン。隠しておきたいのか。そうだ。彼にはいや、そう。なんかいや。そう。なんかいや。そう。なんかいや。そう
you just don't even have anywhere in your brain. But never in my life would I think about any of these sekais I'd ever watch ever have to deal with ED or erectile dysfunction and possibly being gay, you know, like that's just so it was like one episode dealing with the dragon god who stabs him in the chest, wants to kill him for being a summoned person from another world. Next fucking episode. Yeah, man, are you a boy or a girl? Hey, my wiener, you know, I'm like, it's just very, very interesting, we'll say. But uh, I love this episode. Great. We're finally making progress towards the information that Sophie is Sophie. We know she's a woman now. We're getting there. He said, I love how immature and mature Rudy is at the same time. Like he handles things very maturely, but also is okay. Not immature. He's mature, but inexperienced. So his inexperience lets him get in, in his head and starts the wheels turning. But sometimes they go a little far. And he gets, you know, he gets in his head a lot, but great episode. Jesus. Um, I don't know what else to say. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Have a great day, Dapper Squad.